some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we've got a sovereign citizen who's absolutely confident that he knows the law better than anybody else in the world. But you know what? All he tends to prove is how broken his brain truly is. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. This is the part where they try to wait you out. Like the duress part. This is what will happen when like normal people that don't know the law, like you go to pieces while you waiting. They like, oh, we got something on you. They have nothing on you. If you haven't committed a crime, Nobody pointed you out, said you did this to them. It's no crime. This is the part where they pretend like they have the authority. But what you have to do is you still have to act peacefully. Like, they want me to act out. If I act out, then they have cause. I guess that falls under mayhem or or public nuisance. That's why cops always say, sh like, calm down. They're trying to promote a narrative like they're recording at your while. But as long as you talk in a conversational tone, don't get all expressive and you're fine. They don't have the authority to pull you over. This is an illegal stop. I got a question for you, soft tart. How much lead paint have you been drinking to get that much brain damage? Because of course they could pull you over. Because no one said I committed a crime. Question, do you have all your ducks in a row? License, registration, tag, or anything like that? Because if you don't, you've already committed those violations that warranted you to be pulled over by the authorities. He's coming off like, oh, you got a violation, I can't see your license plate. I don't even need a license plate on the car. That's what the law is, because I don't have to register it. It's a personal good, a household good. <laughs> Try that again. Go back home and study the actual laws instead of regurgitating some uh, soft hard BS you found on the internet. It might do you a bit of good in the future. So when you don't know that, they'll pull you over and give you all these tickets. He's probably still going to write one, but I'm going to write UCC um, code 1207 without prejudice on it. First of all, Sobtar, the Uniform Commercial Code has nothing to do with traffic laws. Quit using that stupid little argument. Secondly, that code you uh, just spouted off does not exist anymore. It has been revised and turned into code 3108. And even then, it is not advisable for you to pull that on a cop. Simply because, you know... Well, it is not traffic codes, you moron. Not consent, meaning I didn't sign up for any of that. So that's what I'm going give, to give back to him. UCC 1207 without prejudice. And you write on the ticket and then you go have your day in court. And I'm charging him. It's been, what, 11 o'clock? What did I say my rate was? $100 an hour? That's pretty cheap. I should charge more. I should give myself a raise right here because it's raining outside. On rainy days, it costs more because of travel. You know what I'm saying? While I'm traveling and not driving my car, while I'm traveling and my consumer good to the place that I have to go inside to make my commerce. You know what I mean? Free man on the land, that kind of stuff. Wait a second, there is a flaw in your logic here because you say you're going to charge these people for pulling you over. That means you're engaging commerce, which means you have to have a license for that in your own stupid logic. Ah, soft, hard stupidity, such a wonderful thing to behold. Isn't it wonderful? Don't you think? Actually, not so much considering that these idiots are on the road without insurance. Uh, and uh, now that I think about it, it's not such a wonderful thing. But he knows, though, like they they can't stand down. That's the thing about it. This is America on a whole. And, and, and when I talk about the construct, when I'm talking about white versus Caucasian, this is what I'm talking about. Right now, this is the white man and I'm like... This is that no matter if you have the right or not, like, I don't give a...
is what I say. And this is the problem with this country in a the whole. These are the people that racism exists in, while they look like all the other people. This is police, right? This motherfucker right here, he a regular citizen off the clock. And what I'm talking about hold up for him too, but since this is his job, he gonna go hard with it and try to make it. Here come the third cop now. They gonna all get the same thing. You're gonna get this, it's not gonna change. It's not, nothing's gonna change. You're gonna need the supervisor out here. Don't turn this into an issue of race, dude. This is an issue of you following the traffic laws and not being a dumbass softard. And it don't matter. I already told them. I already showed them this. So they can try to take it all they want. And actually, I'm gonna give it to them. This above all of their pay grade. They trumping people like I got something in the car. I'm lawful right now. Y'all y'all are the ones that's not lawful. Y'all talking about a legal system versus a lawful system. The constitution is the law of the land. I'm an American nationalist. I'm not a goddamn citizen of some fake ass constitution. Not constitution, but the citizenship. Oh, the Constitution is fake, huh? Well, maybe you should renounce your U.S. citizenship and go to North Korea. There they come with their boss now. Da -da. Hey, good morning. Hello, I'm the Super Commander here. Yes, I'm hey, uh, are you. Are you failing to identify yourself right now? You have nothing with your name on it? Be a simple ticket it's, it's really simpler than that. Yeah. There's no crime committed, so I'm wondering why I was pulled Sorry, over. I apologize, man. I legitimately can't hear you. There's no crime committed, so you guys shouldn't be pulling me over. Well, there's a traffic violation. I, I said crime. You're talking violation. I'm, the law of the land, the law of the ladder versus the color of the ladder. The law, all right? Like, you know what a violation is versus the law? Which, which, what the police has jurisdiction over private citizens about is crime. Me, Hurting somebody of their property, right? That's what crime is. That's part of it, that's no, that's crime. That's what I, that's what I fall under. What you what you have a jurisdiction when I succumb to your orders is when I violate somebody's property right. or them. This is some civil nonsense. This is this is violations in code. Very minor. This is no, it's it's so minor that it's not a part of who I am because my motor vehicle, my ve car is an automobile. It's not what you're talking about. I'm not a part of any of that that you're talking about. I explained this to your officers. But y'all still here. And and you haven't identified yourself. Anybody got a, a photo ID? See, no, I already identified myself. No, no, you haven't. I need a photo ID because you work for a corporation. Otherwise, otherwise, I'm talking to a regular man right now. If you stop drinking the soft tart Kool-Aid and eating the lead paint chips meant for just a few minutes, maybe you could realize that there is a difference between a law enforcement agency and a corporation. We do under what grounds? This is your final warning. Uh, under what grounds? Why, why are you arresting me? We don't want to do that. Listen, listen, we're, we're not going to play this game. You're, you're going to have to break into my private property and then kidnap me. That's what you're going to do. Well, unfortunately for you, Softheart, since you obviously don't have the mental capacity to understand any of these things, that is what's going to end up happening to you. No, that's what you're going to do. Go, if that's what you're going to do, we're not going to bargain that out because I know my rights. And you're going to come to court, not the police department, you, because that's what I'm going to file the suit against about violating my civil rights. That, well, okay, I, that is my right. And here you are. Right now, I'm not talking anymore. I'm under custodial arrest. This is what I'm saying at this point. You're being detained right now. You don't need to be arrested. I mean, it's going to come to that if you fail to identify yourself, unfortunately. But we don't want it to come to that. I'm quite sure you don't want it to come to that. So, if you have anything with your with your name on it, we can handle the traffic violation. We can all move on about our day. Are, are, are you not going to do that, sir? Uh, what are y'all going to read me my rights, or am I going to hold that against y'all, too? No, 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 no. Because no. I'm under custodial arrest right now. I need to be Miranda. Y'all think it's a game. I'm not playing. All you had to do was read what I gave you, and I could have been on my way, but y'all want to violate my Constitution, right? Okay, you, sir. You're not going to supply any so identification. For what? For what need? It's yes or no. What need? What crime was committed? Again. What crime? No, you haven't. Neither one of you have explained the crime. I'm using crime on purpose. You should know what's going on right now, but y'all still playing this role. 
Yes. Yes, they do know what's going on here. Clearly, they know a lot more about it than you do. You, on the other hand, have no clue whatsoever. You've been consuming so many lead paint chips and so much of the soft tart Kool-Aid and so many of those uh, pamphlets that your brain has been fried. And unfortunately for you, there is no way to recover all those brain cells that you have lost over the years due to this pulp that you have gotten into. Okay, well, you're gonna have, you're gonna have to, what you're gonna have to do is come in my personal property and pull me out and kidnap me. That's what you're gonna have to do because right now, you don't have any jurisdiction over me because I haven't committed a crime. And we can go through all of this. Or it could be simple and I could go about my way to the market like I was doing. That's what can happen. That's the only thing that's gonna happen. And you two are gonna be cited for civil violations. I'm telling you. Okay. The VIN number's right there. Only thing you can check this car for is to see if it was stolen. That's it. That's what you have jurisdiction over. That. See if the car's stolen. Right, so I'm, I'm not getting out of my personal vehicle. My personal consumer good. You're going to have to break in my personal vehicle and kidnap me. That's what's going to happen. Please don't make us break Listen. Do, 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 hey, listen. Do, do what y'all need to do. Do what you need to do. I'm not getting out of my personal vehicle. Take it as far as you need to take it. Take, okay, I'm keeping my... You trying to violate my constitution and telling me I'm being silly? Right, right now you are under arrest. Please your vehicle. I'm not leaving anything. I'm not under arrest because I haven't committed a crime. I'm peaceably refusing to leave my personal property. I'm peaceably refusing to leave my personal property. That's what's happening. I'm not getting out of my personal property. Violate my constitution. Of, and why are you touching my personal property? I'm asking these officers to, re, well, these people to remove their hand from my personal property. That's what's happening right now. My personal property. So if you come in here, that's what you're facing, officer. And you guys don't even know the law. If you knew the law as well as you say you know the law, well, uh, I would expect you to be a lawyer. But clearly you don't have the intelligence for that. So... Uh, here are the consequences of your actions about to take place. Enjoy. They're about to break my window, which I'm pressing charges about. I'm not leaving my vehicle. And that is where I end the video at, because you know what? YouTube has been coming down hard on that kind of thing, especially with broken windows. So I'm going to have to let you guys imagine that right there. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.